that wind is cold. <laughs> my bins are like my second pair of eyes. I, I go everywhere with them. They're in my bag or my chest. I've always got them to hand. Now, whatever I'm doing, whether I'm bird watching or locating a new place to film, or even just checking out the neighbor's cat. Don't you even think about pooing there. My bins are a, thank you. My bins are a vital piece of kit. Amen to that, brother. My name is Simon McCabe. I'm a filmmaker, a vlogger, and a wildlife enthusiast. Now, when I'm scouting for a new location, the very first thing I do is a walk around that kind of gets me into the environment. And I can't do that without taking my binoculars with me. I think most people think that I walk around with these big bulky cameras all the time, but that is just not the case. They're cumbersome, you know, you have to change all the settings, you have to take your lenses, etc. But it's so much easier just to take out my peregrines and just get a quick overview of what I'm shooting. Now I've had these for about two years, the Viking peregrines, they've just been so good to me. So I thought I'd do a second review, just to give you a bit of an insight into my bionic vision. I filmed that original review back in 2019, and they're still going strong today. So these incredible binoculars are made by Viking Optical. They're based in the UK out in Suffolk. They've got an incredible reputation, 30 year pedigree in the optic market. They provide for both the public and professional sector and support conservation groups like the RSPB. Oh, oh, hang on, hang on. Just before I go, just to let you know, at the end of this video, I'm gonna be running a competition to win a pair of eight by 32 peregrines. So stick around. So before our competition hits, let's go for a few key features on these incredibly good Peregrine ED binoculars. I picked up six key focus points. Let's start with number one. Extra low dispersion glass objective lenses. What does that mean? Yeah. Anyway, number two is fully multi-coated optics. Okay. Number three are dialectic coated phase corrected BAK. What does that mean? Uh, hang on a second. Let's go back. I know that all sounds completely mad, but let me explain. So the first point is extra low dispersion glass objective lenses. It's a bit of a mouthful, but let me explain. So when light goes through the lens, it splits and it creates different waveforms. Basically, the more it splits, the more the picture is going to be distorted and you'll get a softer image and possibly you'll get color fringing as well what they call chromatic aberration which is kind of like purple edging around objects which is not good and with ed glass which is in the peregrines it reduces that split giving you a nice crisper beautiful bright image as well as removing all color fringing right our second point is fully coated optics. And this is pretty straightforward, really. But basically, optics are fully coated. Probably going in a bit more detail, every coat on these is a full coat, so that's front and back, and every element within the actual binocular itself is coated. Whereas a lot of companies would just do the front element and the back. All of the lenses within here are coated. And finally, we've got this which is let me just refer to my notes this is the dielectric coated phase corrected bak4 yeah okay so dielectric coated is basically the coating on the glass here which increases the light that goes through it pretty straightforward phase corrected so phase correcting is basically it's another coating on this glass but it reduces the amount of what they call light spill. So as light spills through this chamber, it will give you again a, a, a sort of a much hazier image, but that coating reduces that. And the BAK4, well, that is just the prism design itself. There are two versions of BAK4 and there's a BK7. The BAK7 is in a lot of other cheaper 
binoculars where the BAK-4 is the one that you want. Well, that's good to know. Anyway, where were we? Oh yeah, oh yeah, here. So, number four. Smooth rubber armour and fully waterproof. Number five. Twist down eye cups for spectacle wearers. And number six. Supplied with rain guard, case and strap. There are plenty of other features about these peregrines. There's a 10 year guarantee, they weigh about 600 grams and the build quality is second to none. It is really impressive. If you'd like more information about the Peregrine ED binoculars, head over to Viking Optical's website. I'll drop a link in the description. So there are three models in the range. There's an 8x32, there's an 8x42, and there's a 10x42 as well. So who is the target audience for this set of binoculars? Well, I would say that they're focused, a lot focused. <laughs> I would say that they're focused on the serious birders. Somebody who wants to see a lot of detail and want the clarity. I mean, these are tight in. They're not as wide in their vision as, say, the Merlins, for instance, the smaller brothers of these. But if you want to be close in and see that detail and still see it very clearly, these are the ones for you. They're also great in the field as a sort of general use. But yeah, you know, they're not the cheapest on the market but you pay for what you get. I've learned my lesson over and over again. Buying cheap binoculars is just not the way. You end up scrimping on, on the actual vision, you lose the detail. With these, you kind of maintain that level, that quality of vision, you know? And I, I put it all down to the optics. They're just incredible. Now, as a conclusion, these, as my bionic eyes, just incredible you know I could upgrade why would I want to upgrade it you know why fix it if it's not broken these are incredible I've dropped them they've been in the rain they've been everywhere with me and they just do what they say on the tin and as I say they're not the cheapest on the market but if you want cheap you ain't gonna get the vision now these have got the clarity the quality everything you want is in these binoculars and they're just incredible <laughs> so competition time so if you want to win yourself a set of these now these are the 8x32 binoculars from viking they are incredible if you want to be in with a chance of winning this all you need to do is subscribe to viking optical's channel make sure you're a subscriber to this channel and then in the comments below write what you're going to be doing with these now, whether it's wildlife watching or staring at your neighbor's cat, I don't really care. But I'll pick a random winner in the next four weeks and you could be the lucky winner of these. Good luck. I'll place all the competition details in the description area. And once again, good luck.